Your nightly news with Rachel Williams begins now. Good evening, everyone. Another Tasmanian life has been lost to coronavirus, with a 74-year-old man dying at the Mersey Community Hospital this morning. An anxious wait is also underway for families and residents of three aged care facilities in the northwest feared to be impacted by the outbreak. More heartbreak from our hospitals. Today, we confirm another death. A 74-year-old man, a patient at the Northwest Regional Hospital, uh, who's been cared for at the Mersey, has sadly passed away. It's a second death at the site in two days. Eight Tasmanians have now perished at the hands of the virus, giving the state the highest death rate per capita in the nation. Overnight, another four cases were confirmed, all from the northwest. Authorities are holding their breath after conducting 500 tests from three aged care facilities yesterday. Each one had been attended by a COVID-positive worker. Results are expected within hours. I am hopeful that we will not see a further outbreak. But I think that we should ready ourselves uh, for the results of these testing. Some good news. Testing capability will triple in coming weeks. But it's finding more PPE that's testing the government. I'm very aware of the anxiety within uh, both our staff but also the community around PPE levels. $26 million of it has been ordered. Bernie's emergency department was today open following a deep clean. 40 defence personnel are now inside, bolstering our virus front line. A staggering number of health staff are unable to work since a temporary shutdown. In public health services, um, currently monitoring um, nearly a thousand staff members who are currently um, in quarantine. Police await those not heeding warnings to stay home. 700 cars were stopped at checkpoints yesterday and officers won't be taking their eyes off the Lyle, Frankfurt and Bass highways anytime soon. Sean McComish, 7 Tasmania News. It's been almost a month since hospitality venues were forced to shut their doors, leading to poker machines being switched off and betting services closed down. Despite this, gambling support service provider Anglicare says it's still seeing a steady number of Tasmanians each week as it changes how it provides services amid the pandemic. Closed signs and empty venues. Once filled with patrons drawn in by the buzz of a bet, lights are off, Poker machines have had their plugs pulled, last drinks poured and betting TVs have been switched off. When we last um, surveyed the Tasmanian community, one in three Tasmanians knew of someone with a gambling problem. One in three. What's happening to them in this COVID world? Anglicare's data suggests that Tasmanians put more than $170 million per year into poker machines, with sports betting and online gambling also taking millions more from people's pockets. One of the things that Anglicare and Relationships Australia do is provide one-on-one -on -one support for you. They can actually connect you to a counsellor who can work with you through the particular issues that you're facing. And while it says it hasn't seen a change in demand for counselling since the shutdowns came into effect, they've had to transition how they provide their service from in-person to over the internet. Some of that can now happen online. Some of it can happen through um, different sorts of video conferencing products. Um, what we think is important is that those Tasmanians who, for whom there is an issue of gambling in the household, please come forward. With business restrictions set to remain in place for at least the next four weeks, it's anticipated the extra time people spend at home may bring hidden gambling issues to light. And if it's a, you've got a concern about a family member, they can help you with some strategies to be able to talk about the issue so that you can come forward and receive the support you need. If you or somebody you know may have a problem with gambling, confidential free support is available via 1800 858 858. Ebony Ablett, 7 Tasmania News. Upgrades to crucial infrastructure at Mariah Island have taken another step forward. Tenders are now open to continue building the wastewater transfer system for amenities at the Jetty and Penitentiary in the Darlington Precinct. It follows works to boost facilities at nearby campsites 10 kilometres away from the World Heritage Site. Construction is expected to take six weeks. Good evening everyone. Temperatures well below average today with Launceston reaching a top of 17 degrees, Devonport 16 and 15 in Hobart and Burnie. Around the state, 17 degrees in St Helens, the Islands, Smithton and Friendly Beaches all 16, 15 in Lowhead, Strawn 14 and just 13 degrees in Ouse and Grove. Low level cloud can be seen around the majority of the state today. 
although the northeast is under some high level Bannock cloud. Across Australia, there is high level cloud around southwestern Western Australia and also on the coast of New South Wales and Queensland. The middle of the country is relatively cloud free. Tomorrow's chart shows a ridge that will move over Tasmania, a vigorous cold front tracks towards the state throughout the day, while a high pressure system influences the eastern half of Australia. West to southwesterly winds 10 to 20 knots tomorrow, becoming variable to 10 knots during the day. Light showers and 16 in Hobart tomorrow, Richmond and Ouse both partly cloudy and 16 degrees. Launceston and Devonport, 17 and partly cloudy, late showers and 15 degrees in Deloraine. Possible showers and 17 in Burnie and Curry, Strawn reaching 16. And in the east, partly cloudy and 17 in St Helens and Whitemark, Swansea 16 degrees. Looking on to Monday now, showers extending across the state during the morning. Showers about the north, west and far south on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, showers about the west, south and also the north. A shower or two in Perth tomorrow, Adelaide 23, partly cloudy and 18 in Melbourne and showers in Sydney and Brisbane. And currently Hobart 11 degrees and mostly cloudy, Launceston mostly cloudy and 12 and Devonport 11 and also mostly cloudy. And Rach, that's the weather tonight. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that, Chelsea. Well, that's all your news for now. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow at 6. Bye for now.